Why would anybody buy an Xbox One, I guess, is what they're trying to say on the next... Man, fuck, let's get right to it. Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with yet more news, man. And look, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at this article. It's, it's, it's on the site. It, it's clearly got a PlayStation 4 slant. It says, uh, PlayStation 4 CPU is more powerful than the Xbox One CPU, according to a benchmark test. I mean, and, and that's really what the... That's what the article says. You know, we're talking about benchmark tests. I mean, if you know, if you don't know what it is, I'm not going to take the time to explain it to you. Uh, and then I'm going to do it. I'm going to say a benchmark test is just when you just see what something is capable of, fully capable of, um, you know, as far as the CPU. And uh, really the main meat of this thing is, this, it says the, the PlayStation 4 uh, CPU processor generates textures at 14 megabytes per second. And the, uh, the Xbox One's uh, CPU could do... 12 megabytes per second and just for reference uh, intel i7 blows both of them out of the fucking water with uh, uh, uh an astounding 26 megabytes per second i mean look at it like this man i almost think I almost think of it like this if you had internet connection and they said hey you know it's, it's 12 megabits per second or it's 14 megabits per second are you really gonna notice the difference no it's just gonna be the people that program for it how they take advantage of of the actual of actually what's available um we already know that the xbox the xbox one has a lot more going on and the playstation 4 is a pure pure gaming system you know it's not a lot a whole lot of overhead it doesn't have three operating systems running at the same time like the xbox one uh does they say that they don't impact things and they really don't because you know uh, if you know anything about virtual box you can run a virtual box on your pc it'll share a pc when you're using one virtual box it's not going to impact the other virtual box because the other one goes into kind of like a hibernating state unless you're doing something both on both at the, you know something on both of them at the same time you know it is what it is man hey they, i'm pretty sure that either because i know for a fact that amd they you know a lot of those processes they scale up and scale down depending on what's going on um uh, it, it just is what it is man I don't I don't think this is a huge deal. I don't think as far as the power goes. I don't think that's why you see the graphical differences because the Xbox couldn't handle it as far as as much as, you know, it was just programmed for it and maybe the programmers for the games on the PlayStation 4 they just took better advantage of it. We know the hardware is better. It's always been better. Sony's always had better hardware. It's just like Max had better hardware than PCs, but Microsoft never ever has been in financial trouble and Max were in financial trouble. You know, for a good little while, you know, at the end of the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s, and so they came with the iPhone and, and, you know, the iPad and all that, and that seemed to pull that ass out of the fire. But even Macs use Intel products now, so it, so it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, then the article goes on goes on to say, you know, I mean, you, you got DDR5 and DDR3. Get the fuck out of here, man. We That doesn't even make, make a difference now. The only time that might make a difference is, you know, later on down the road when... This one can still do a little bit more than the. It, it doesn't make a difference. That DDR5, the difference between DDR5 and DDR3, it, you're not going to see it. Maybe the system can tell. It, it's not, man. You know. And then they go on to say that the hard drive is preoccupied with this. Man, I what the fuck ever, man. Like, like it's a whole bunch of irrelevant points. I mean, they are relevant, I guess. But it's clearly that it's clear that they're just trying to bash the Xbox. And then, then it goes down to say. Just to recount, the Xbox One has a slower CPU, a less powerful GPU, less storage space out of the box, no external hard drive support, is is un well, it's unusable without a mandatory day one patch, lacks network bandwidth configuration controls, and comes with double A batteries instead. Who the fuck even cares about network bandwidth configuration controls? Y'all don't even know what that is. This dude don't even know what that is. You you just saying it like who would use it? Other than me, I mean, you, I might want to, I might want to throttle my network, but I, that would be from a router standpoint or a server level 
to, 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 throttle, to throttle the user. Why would I want to throttle my box? That, that doesn't even make sense. It is what it is, man. Network band with you. Hey, hey, I guess that's the I guess that's the greatest thing. Let's see if he even mentioned that in the article. Given the low bandwidth of processing, it would have meant no, but it says nothing about network band with you. He doesn't even explain what it is, which which leads me to believe he don't even know what it is. Um But you know, it is what it is. And uh, you know, hey, the double A batteries, I got rechargeable bat. Hold on, let me show y'all what I use, man. This is what I've been using with my Xbox for 10 years, man. Since I got my Xbox One, I got this. The other two AA batteries are in the in the controller. I've been charging my batteries, so, I mean, that don't bother me. I just, I just don't get why they're going out of their way to bash the Xbox One. When, you know, like I said, if people, and, and then, yet it costs $100 more. Yes, it costs $100 more because of the Kinect. That's the only reason. That's it. I mean, in both of these consoles had to have the day one patch. I'm pretty sure the day one, I mean, the, that first patch for the for the PS4, you know, it removed DRM. They just didn't, talk, Sony just didn't tell you about the shit. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, You know, with his direct competitor, can someone please make sense of this for me? That's just like me saying that a Benz is like the lowest Benz that you can buy is like 30 grand and a Ford, and a Ford uh, Focus Hybrid or the Dart, or I mean a Dodge Dart, or all those hybrids, they start around 12 grand, between 12 and 20 grand. They get better gas mileage. And I mean, by, by your logic, we should all be driving Ford Focuses or the, um, you know, or some type of hybrid vehicle. But that's just not the case. People want what they want. And regardless of what it is, sometimes we're just going to buy what we want. Sometimes I might want the big ugly truck. I got an expedition outside. So it, it guzzles gas. It, it, it's got low gas mileage. It uh it makes a lot of damn noise when I'm driving. I mean, it's a whole lot of stuff, but I still love my truck. I mean, and it can be the same thing with Xbox. You might not, if you don't understand something or if you don't do something, if that's not your decision, a lot of times people can't understand why somebody would go the other way. I went the other way because of my reasons. So that's why people are doing it. And that's why the Xbox is $100 more because of the Kinect. And they want they want you to see the entire experience. You cannot experience the entire Xbox One experience without the Connect. I'm sorry. Maybe some people want to try it, but you, you can't do it. It's not worth it without the Connect. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But you know it is what it is, man. They going out of their way to bash the uh, Xbox on a bunch of points that I feel like are even are, are irrelevant. So what your pro your processor can do two megabytes worth of stuff per second more. Okay, whoop the fucking do. Anyway, man, we know we are, this is stuff that we already knew. It's just give you give a bunch of facts in there and then just say why people why people, but it's just because they want to, and you can't change that. And we're not trying to change your mind. We just bringing the news, baby. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla!